Atal Bihari Vajpayee, born on 25th December 1924 in Gwalior, died on 16th August 2018 in New Delhi. Today is a very famous festival in the all around the world, the Christian festival, the Christmas day Jesus Christ is born, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Adil Bihari Vajpayee said, we are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in wars. If we must wage war, we have to do it on unemployment, disease, poverty and backwardness. Adil Bihari Vajpayee was an Indian statesman who served three terms as the Indian Prime Minister of India, first for a term of 13 days in 1996, then for a period of 13 months from 1998 to 1999, followed by a full term from 1999 to 2004. A member of the Bharatiya Janata Party was the first Indian Prime Minister not of the Indian National Congress to serve a full term in office. He was also noted as a poet and a writer. During his tenure as Prime Minister, India carried out the Pokhran II nuclear test in 1998. Vajpayee sought to improve diplomatic relations with Pakistan, travelling to Lahore by bus to meet with Prime Minister Nawaz. Sharif. After the 1991 Kargil war with Pakistan, he sought to restore relations through engagement in President Parvez Musharraf, inviting him to India for a summit at Agra. The administration of Narendra Modi declared in 2014 that Vajpayee's birthday, 25th December, would be marked as Good Governance Day. In 2015, he was conferred India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, by the President of India, Pranab Mukherjee. He died on 16th August 2018 of age-related illness. Atal Bihari Vajpayee said, We are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in wars. Yes, precious resources of war. I couldn't believe this can come out from the mouth of a political leader. If it has come out really from a political leader to the stature of Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, then Atul Bihari Vajpayee must have been the avatar of Jesus Christ. Only people of such caliber can talk about love, wasting, all these things, because every one drop counts, not a drop to be spilled outside. We are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in war. Such a beautiful quote. You cannot find because the whole political mainstream is for war. To hold on to the chair, here there's a poet, a kind of philosopher. Maybe he must have been a real spiritual master, a messiah, a prophet who could speak such a language. Because in Rakum schools, we keep on reminding the children, do not spill anything outside your plates when they are having their food. If you, if you know, if you, any, if you spill anything outside your plates, please put it back into your plates. If you know to spill anything outside your plates, tomorrow money will spill outside the pockets. And that is the poverty of the land. Cleaning members are coming not to take your waste. Cleaning members are coming to polish the floor. And if you allow cleaning members to take your waste, they'll understand your weakness and they will destroy you. That has got a very deep, intimate con connection with what Atal Bihari Vajpayee said. We are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in wars. Please try to find out. Please try to understand. In the house, unnecessary tit for tat. An eye for an eye, Mahatma Gandhi said, slowly make the whole world blind. In the houses, when the husband says one thing, the wife will say two things. Wife will say two things, husband will say four things. And children start arguing back. All the children who have been sent to the international schools or posh schools keeps on arguing for argument's sake. They do not listen. They forgot that mother and father, grandfather and grandmother, the house is a God. Anything coming from their mouth is gospel of truth because it is coming from an experience. And that experience they are talking only for your love. Try to, uh, try to 
they are trying to penetrate their love, they try to mix their love into you, but you are blocking your heart, you are not allowing them even to tell, even if you think you are bookishly more in intelligent than them also, it is your duty to listen. When you do not listen, then after some time you have to go to the psychiatrist, the doctors, even your wife, your husband, your nobody will listen to you and then you live in deep pain. This is one thing international schools must teach them. In the house it happened. When mother-in-law speaks one, the daughter-in-law speaks four. And this is the only one country which understands that particular truth. We are unless wasting our precious resources in war, not to waste anything. In Japan, if a senior says anything, the juniors have to say hi. hi. Mother-in-law says anything, the daughter-in-law will always say hi. Hi, yes, I'm sorry, I'm thank you. Even children are taught in the schools when teacher teachers scolds them, they are immediately saying thank you, I'm sorry. Sorry because I disturbed the teacher to unnecessarily interfere and I'm thankful because teachers corrected my mistakes. If you can understand that here also I see many times seniors and juniors one to one, they, they are defending as if something good. Why should you defend? If somebody called, somebody came and told me, he's calling me, he told me I'm a son of a bitch. I asked him, are you the son of a bitch? He said, no. Then why are you fighting that? Why don't you listen? Why don't you listen? Atal Bihari Vajpayee said, we are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in war. That is the war. When Mother Teresa was asked by somebody, Mother, please tell me how to bring peace in this world. What should I contribute for peace in this world? Mother said nothing. First go back to your house and create peace in your house. When everybody has got peace in the house, in the sense if everybody has got a family, when everybody has got a joint family and everybody have a, a pyramid, a family tree, peace comes in the world. Mother Teresa has got that connect. Mother Teresa, go create peace the war in the house. We are always wasting our precious resources in wars. You are talking about wars between India and Pakistan, India and China. You are all interested and most of the people in the social media think as if they know everything. They are not even done anything in the house. They are not even created a joint family, not created a family tree. They are talking in the social media about what we should do with Pakistan and China and shouting and barking against China and leave it. That is for the leaders. They will have, they will have their own um, chessboard strategy to move things. Let them move. First you, you do it in your house. Inside your house, the wife and the children are fighting, husband are shouting one for one. Whereas we are unless wasting a precious resource in wars. You are shouting because there is not a combined effort by the husband and the wife to cook together, to wash together, to um, grow a plant together, to play together, to dance together, sing together. Clean up the house together to understand the maintenance. Maintenance of the house, the electrical problems, the plumbing problems, the sewage problems, and then to make sure the rainwater harvesting is updated, the solar panel is updated. These things you, when you call an outside person, when you call an outside person, and I mean, then they are literate or you are literate. You become illiterate. Tomorrow, because your wife wants something, you will call another man for, to satisfy her, or husband wants something to satisfy. Understand that we are unless wasting our precious resources in war. That is the war which you should stop it. To stop is nothing. You do not have to sit to find out a method to read books. Just work with them. Work with them without opening. Even if they shout gibberish talks, you know you are more educated. And in that education, what they are talking has got rubbish. That rubbish has got no, uh, nothing to be answered. So why are you answering bad? You just do with your wife and your children, husband and a family, with your mother-in-law and father-in-law. When a girl marries and goes to the husband's house, I tell the girl, please, you are going to the husband's house, means you are getting huge amount of power from the husband. Yes, another one pyramid. And the husband's mother and father, another one power. And then their relatives, and then their friends, and then the whole family. You must understand, to understand, to learn, to take them to your side, you have to work minimum a basic strategy of five years, shut your mouth and open your ears and listen and then try to make your pyramid with their pyramid mixed together. You have two pyramids. Why should you fear? 
We are unnecessarily wasting a precious resource wars. If we must wage war, Adil Bihar Vajpis, we have to do it on unemployment. Where is unemployment? We are a family tree. Inside the family tree, the people have already decided. You have decided the family tree, who is the head of the family tree. Family tree before the child is born, the family tree has decided. The joint family system has decided this child will go for engineering or for MBBS or for this or that. Where is employment? When we, the family tree has got 100 acres or 1000 acres, where is unemployment? Huge amount of work. I myself, as an example, I came to the ashram six months back. Six months, how much work I do? By the time I complete one work, another work has already started. Where is unemployment? Huge amount of work. I thought I will not give work for my drivers or for Goshara people, but I need them now full time to cut the tree, to trim their plants, to grow this. Unemployment is never there when you are a family tree. This has been destroyed by you. Don't tell about the, uh, yeah, don't tell about the um, political leaders. They are not remote controlling. If they are remote control, if your ancestors have been in remote control, now you correct it. Have to be unemployment. Then disease. Where is disease? Let thy food be thy medicine in the family tree. The doctors of 800 years, 1000 years of the food, the twist and turn of the food and sitting in the sunlight, playing in the rainwater, swimming and climbing the tree, flowing waters, fresh water, stagnant water, stinks. Where there is disease? There is no disease at all in the family tree. Disease came. Poverty and backward. Where is poverty? In the joint family, everybody sits together. Huge amount of food. In fact, you sometimes you will not even have. I I remember my grandfather putting when the um, the rice field has been cut. Huge big uh, box he has got a wooden box. I don't know how to, and he fills it up. So uh, every time when they wanted, they take it out and they pound it up and they. Well, everywhere I went, even to uh, to a uh, to poor place near on the border of Andhra Pradesh called Srinivasapura. Called there also they are holding on to the uh, jola uh, ragi and they keeping. For when I asked huge amount of bags, they're telling and after nine, two months, after three months, even they know to hold it so that when the price grows up, they sell it also. Where there is unemployment, where there is disease, poverty, and backwardness. Back we don't know what is back and front and all. No backwardness at all. When there is a beautiful love inside the joint family, we never think of backwardness. Adil Bihari Wajib said, victory and defeat are a part of life which are to be viewed with eternity. Our Hindu society has taught them this and that. Zen society has taught them do not differentiate between this and that. As long as you don't differentiate between this and that, everything is victory. Everything what you do is an experience like our Ugadi, Sihi and Kahi. Both of you tasted in Japan society. Every food when they take the food in one, they instantly they won't. I don't like this food. They will taste everything. Say, oh, this is good kahi. This is called sihi. This is sweet. This is bitter. This is kara, etc. They tell, and then if they want to say, I'm not used. My stomach is not used to it, so I'll eat next time. That tasting, uh, we have, we can teach them only in the joint family, only in the family tree. Atul Bihari Vajpayee said, we are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in wars, stop your wars right in the house, in your mouth, do jana. When you do uh, works, where is the time for you to war, to wage war? Because when you are roaring like a thousand man warrior, every day the body is working thousand man warrior. Where is the time to wage war? Only you are climbing, when you are climbing the mountain, Mountain, do not turn back to look how far you climbed, but how much more you have to climb. And that is there. Where is the war in the house? The war in the house is because you are lazy, stupid lazy. <laughs> you are idiotic because stupid, lazy, idiotic. Hence you are talking about China war and Pakistan war. Shut your mouth and put it in your pocket. And then go back to your house. Like Mother Teresa says, first create love in the house, create peace in the house. We must wage war. We have to do it on unemployment. If we must wage war, we have to do it on unemployment. This is poverty and backwardness. Victory and defeat are part of life. That is love. Victory and defeat, both we needed in and in positive and negative. can create electricity, which are to be viewed with equanimity. Equanimity means flowing waters, fresh water, stagnant water, things. This is my 282nd small talks.